Hi hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, I figured I'd do a quick video. This shouldn't take too long. This is about, there was this little park next to my condo um, back when I was over there off 295. And it was like, maybe like a quarter mile or a half mile up the street. There was this cool little park there. And they had tons of trees and they had like this big like L-shaped um, like pond system that would run down the side and then to the back. And then it would come up front. So you could like walk into the park and they had this little path and you could walk it all the way around. And it would go around like they had at the time when I was there. I think they had like one or two fields there that they would use for soccer and, and you know football or whatever else. But they had a nice walking area to the right of it. So it was fenced in. Then they had this like nature side with all these trees and bushes right up next to the little pond. And that would run all the way around. So you could go there and you could do your sports and everything. Um, you know, kids could go up there and have fun. But it was also fenced off and then you had like the nature area where you could have like a nice little nature walk and especially if you go in the morning or like late in the evening there wouldn't be that many people there so even though they had like the fields there for people you also had the nature side of it and if you got there at the right time there was hardly anybody there maybe a few people in the morning like walking their dog something like that uh, but it was nice because in a city it's tough to get out in nature it's not easy you know we pave over everything you know <laughs> You want to get the tax revenue right so they use like every piece of land all the trees and bushes and everything you knock them all down and you put down pools and soccer fields and football fields and buildings all that, right you use it all everything's like tightly tightly knit together so this was like a nice little oasis for me and i had so many cool supernatural experiences there it was awesome and this was back um so at the time when it changed this was back in like february 2022 so that's kind of when, you know, the veil was removed or at least started to be removed. It was a, a process and I think it still is. So, but that's where it started. Like up to this point, I'd been seeing things like I, I knew I was definitely different, but you know, it's one of those, is this really happening or am I just crazy? Like what's going on? Um, but then after February, 2022, that's when, you know, the veil was kind of snatched away. Um, and like I said, it was a gradual process and it still is, it's still, you know, happening. But for the most part, the, the big part of it was, was February 22. So that's when it all started. Um, but this little park, man, that was part of it. Because I had gone up there and I had so many cool like supernatural experiences. And there was just birds everywhere. And there was these um, rabbits, these little brown rabbits. I guess someone had had rabbits and, as pets maybe. And they decided they couldn't take care of them. So they let them go in the park, I'm guessing. Or they were, or they were wild. I don't know. But they were everywhere. There was like 10 or 15 of these things just running around. So... You know, as you're walking, you're seeing these rabbits come across the path and there's these birds, all various kinds of birds, like all over the place, man. It was cool. It was like a little Garden of Eden. It was it was pretty neat. And it was in the city and it wasn't like a huge park, a couple of acres, maybe, if that. Had some soccer fields and like I said, the big pond system and trees everywhere. So like people could go there and have fun, you know, playing sports and then like if you people like nature, like if you like nature, you could go there and also enjoy that. So it was a great balance, you know, between nature and, you know, nature has its place and then people have their place. And it was awesome. You know, I loved it. So many cool experiences. So back to the point, I went there the other day. Um, I just went back there in the morning. I was like, oh, I want to go do something. Hey, what you doing? I want to go do something. I remember all the cool experiences I had there. Um, so I wanted to go back because, um, you know, like I said, back in February 22, that's when the veil was removed, or at least the process of the veil being removed. But it was basically snatched away in, in February of 22. I went down to the Keys, and that, that's where it all happened. And then, you know, that whole process is still um, that whole process is still playing out. So, you know, it's not like an instantaneous thing. I mean, it was it was snatched away, and then I realized I wasn't crazy. But you know, it's still a process. The whole you know unveiling and waking up and all that stuff. So. But this park was a huge part of it, a very big part of it, um, just because, you know, that's where I noticed it all happening. And then I was like prior to I saw all the cool supernatural things there. And then like after I went on that trip and I came back and everything is snatched away, then then it really opened my eyes to it. But I went back there um, just recently and it's just not the same. Like I was walking around, I went down the park and I went down like the tree line, stuff like that. And there were just hardly any birds there at all. You know, the rabbits are gone. Like, they just went in. And, and I've kind of figured it out as I took a longer walk. 
There's a nice little path when you first come in. And that part was mostly the same. You know, next to the soccer field, they still had the trees and the pond was there and the bushes and everything. So you still had that. Um, but then as I walked around, like the backside, you know, back behind the soccer fields, and I started walking over, the uh, playground for the kids was totally knocked down. So I guess, which wouldn't have mattered, right? The animals didn't use that. But they knocked that down. So it looks like they're going to put in probably like a bigger playground. So they're going to take up even more room. And then once I got past that, I realized why. Because then they had this huge area where there were tons of trees, you know, like birds were nesting there and tons of bushes. Like it was very like, it's almost like a little nature preserve behind where they had the soccer fields and the playground. So that whole area, all those trees, they knocked all of it down. They wiped it out. There's like no trees there at all. This was like one of the bigger sections. This was like kind of the woodsy section where you could pretend you weren't at a park in a city. Totally wiped it out. They put in two, um, I don't know, two or three maybe. That at least, yeah, it's huge. They basically took all of it for these baseball fields, which I understand kids want to play baseball. I get it. Um, but this park, the cool thing about it, it was such a nice combination. You know, you had the nature side. There was a big portion for the animals and people who like nature. And then you have the sports side where the kids could go play. But essentially, like, they've just thrown off that balance completely. And they've just wiped out all the trees. And they put in all these baseball fields with false, with artificial astroturf. They put all that down. So it looks pretty. And you can play baseball on it. But all the birds are gone. I mean, all the birds. Like, I hardly saw any of them. I saw, like, maybe um, a mockingjay and, like, some other, like, a couple other things there. Mockingbird. But um, that's about it. There really wasn't anything there. Like the park was totally different. The vibe was completely off. It went from being like this cool like nature area to basically just a park where you go and you play sports. So, hey. Um, yeah. So as far as the nature side, completely wiped out. And all the wildlife was gone. Just about. Uh, it was like a... Honestly, like a 90% reduction. And I went in the morning, like the birds should have been active. The rabbit should have been active. This is like sunrise. You know, that's, that's a hot time for animals. So they're just gone. So all these cool supernatural experiences I had prior to the veil being removed. And then afterwards, like all of that was just lost. There was one little area where I could walk into kind of like the reeds and everything that were around the lake and kind of get that nature feel. And, and I, it kind of brought me back there just for a minute. Um, but other than that, it's just gone. And now it's just, you know, soccer fields and AstroTurf baseball fields and all the trees are just gone. But that's what we do in the city, right? We just wipe everything out and, you know, we use up every single square foot of space. And there's no room left for nature, which, which stinks. But, I mean, that place is like 20 minutes from my house anyway, so it's not, not a great use of fuel. But I took the bike, so, you know get 80 miles a gallon no big deal but I, I just wanted to share that so it was just an experience I had where like I had so many cool supernatural things happen in that park and it's because I was out in nature right I was out in nature with the wildlife and the birds and the rabbits and you know the the fog that would roll off the pond in the morning all of it it all interacts and you can you can see God in all of it and um, I used to but now, you know, it's all wiped out. Now they just put in some more baseball fields and there's nothing left for the animals. So it's basically just a park where you can go play sports now. So if you like nature, it's not a good choice. You won't find anything there, pretty much. It's at least 90% reduced, if not more. So it's kind of sad, but I'll have to find somewhere else to go where, you know, they still allow trees to live and bushes and things like that and you know the wild environment or I just have to get out of the city eventually get out somewhere where there's actually nature because it seems like every place you have like trees and <clears throat> natural areas in a city they just eventually wipe it out and they put in you know sports arenas or sports equipment or business offices something so I'll eventually have to get out of the city so I can you know get back into nature I just wanted to provide my input on that. It's going to be a short one. Um, yeah. So that's it, really. But like I said, the place was special because I had lived there like a year probably prior to going down to the Keys, right? And this is in 2022. So up to February 22, 
things were happening. I was seeing things, but at the same time, I'm thinking, oh, you must be crazy, right? There's no way. There's no way you're seeing what you're seeing. But I mean, I actually was. And then once the, the veil was taken away, at least as part of the process, and that's still still unfolding, but um, the vast majority of the snatching of away, that, that's where it happened. So when I came back, that park was pivotal, like leading up to, you know, February. And then after February, going back there after knowing, like, it was just so surreal. And it was because, you know, I was having that experience because I was out in nature. I was out with the birds and the insects and the trees and the moss swaying around and the wind and the reeds and the water and the rabbits and, and just everything. Like, when you get out in nature, I mean, you can see God. You can interact with God when you're out in nature. And you can see the waves and the wind and the, the trees and everything moving around. You can just see God in nature. It's as, as close as you're going to get, you know, while you're down here. So, but, yeah, you can't really see it anymore. I mean, the wind, you could probably see the wind and the trees and things like that. But all the birds were gone. The rabbits were gone. It just, the place seemed dead, you know, as far as nature goes. It just seemed obliterated. The only thing that was left were soccer fields and baseball fields and maybe like a, I don't know if they had a concession stand. There's like a little place where people could sit down, have a little picnic, basketball courts, things like that. But as far as nature, it was just, you know, it was killed. So kind of sad, but I still have all my memories of that place. And I can still go up there and at least remember what it, what it used to be like. So that's good. But that's it. Uh, have a good day. Just remember, God loves us and wants to provide guidance, wants to help us. So have a great week.